Judd, congratulations. That was a pretty comprehensive, straightforward victory in the end. Yeah, it was, it was still tough. I think he, Leon at times played some really good stuff and and um, he just he seemed to play with a lot of freedom. I, I know he missed the odd ball here and there, probably just because it was the World Championship, but it was um, for me it was a, a real enjoyable game. We were both played free flowing, went for our shots and just kind of fed off each other and um, I think maybe on a different day it would have been a lot closer. You've had an amazing season again, you won five titles. The only drawback to that is the huge volume of snooker that you've had to play and at times this season I've sensed perhaps that you've been a little bit fatigued mentally. You look fresh here, so was having a few days off something that was quite important and do you feel revitalised now that you're here in Sheffield? Um, yeah, I feel I feel a lot better myself. I think, to be honest, I just wasn't, and a lot of the tournaments, even when I've won, I haven't enjoyed at all. Um, and it's just become a bit of a chore. And even when I was winning, I wasn't wasn't enjoying it. It was just going through the motions. So I think for this one, um, just just try to take some time off um, and just practice. Probably not I practice very hard, but not quite as much as what I would normally put in. And just try to save all the excitement and, and, and stuff like that as if I was 21 again and save that enjoyment and try and enjoy myself up here rather than a couple of times recently at other events I just try and get out of the venue as soon as possible, go home, get away from everything. I think this is when I'm just trying to take it more on my stride and just enjoy being here and spent so much time at home over the past year. Um, if I do step here now before next game, just try and take it all in and, and just enjoy myself like is is your last event or, or just in, in that kind of aspect and just take it all in and um, hopefully that will stand me in good stead. Do you think part of that lack of enjoyment was the fact that on some of those epic nights and we have had some amazing finals this season there's not been a crowd to share that moment with? Yeah I, I think so I think um, just no one being there you kind of pick up the trophy straight in the car driving home so that enjoyment of the couple of hours after where you you see your friends and family and celebrate together is kind of lost. Um, by the time you get home, you kind of forgot what's happened and it's just like, oh, you won, well done, bedtime. Um, <laughs> so it's um, it's difficult. It's, when you win, you always want to be there with your family and celebrate it with them. And um, you just just sort of lost that, um, that enjoyment. And just even having my brother back here um, with me backstage, it kind of just the the passion for me is back in just being able to share it with someone. Looking forward to this match against Dave Gilbert. I, I love this for a second round encounter, and it's interesting looking back through your head to heads. You played in the last forty eight in two thousand and eleven, uh, and how much has life changed for both of you since then? You know that that was you on the beginning of this incredible journey to the final, and and that was him eight years before he had a, a fantastic run to the semis. So. Lots changed for both of you in that time. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't know that. And um, yeah, I think back then it was kind of looked on that he was just kind of going along in his career steadily in the in the forty or fifty in the rankings. Was never really going to do anything. But he, he was always someone that had underachieved, and I think everyone on the whole tour knew that. And um, his Q action's always been excellent. And he just always never had that little bit of self-belief in it. I think um, you kind of just thought he was going to go through his whole career without having that and a couple of times he was going to give up and, and stuff like that. But all of a sudden, um, I think he was just too good not to ever ever find that. And just mentally, he he worked at himself and, and, and found that inner confidence. And it's something that's helped propel him um, nearly to a world final. But over the past couple of, of years, apart from... Um, he, he, he struggled a bit this year with the lockdown. Um, other than that, he's been one of the top consistent players over the last three or four years now. So we, we could perhaps expect a really free-flowing match because in his first session, he had three centuries and three half centuries and he also uh, went into his second session 7-2 up. So he broke the back of the match in the first one like you did. Yeah, he, he, he made an excellent start because I thought Chris Wakeham would be a, a tough draw and um, I know Chris has, has played some excellent stuff. He beat Mark Selby in one of the previous events and I think he had to battle to stay on. So I, I thought he'd just be out there. He'd give me a tough run. Um, 
in the World Championship first round before as well, and uh, I knew he wasn't going to be easy, but t to beat him and kind of brush him aside, you'll, you'll play him well. And uh, I think he's got that enjoyment back, uh, just playing with a smile on his face, and any anyone that's enjoying himself is dangerous in this event. Well, and, and you are as well, so that makes it for a, that makes for a, for a great match. And just finally, the end of an era, Barry Hearn's press mm. conferences are no more. He, he bowed out in fine style yesterday. Uh, he's an incredible character, and sometimes I guess people uh, might disagree with some of his forthright opinions, but how good has he been for snooker over the last 10, 20, 30 years? It's been massive. Yeah, it, it come a little bit of a surprise for me, um, and, and yeah, it was a little bit sad to, to see him leave, but I think... He, he, he just did everything that he possibly could for snooker. Is 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 sort of his first love snooker of any sport, and um, his his passion, um, his excitement um, rubs off on everyone, and everyone wants to work hard, um, and and everybody everybody has working hard to get us to this point. And I, th I think um, w without knowing him that well, he probably just felt like he did everything he possibly could to put us in good stead, and and just kind of. Um, leave it up to the players, leave it up to the people behind the scenes, maybe to, to make a, a few different changes, try and take the game to that next level. And um, I think he can just sit back now, relax, and, and hopefully we can all take the game forward and he can sit back and just be proud of of putting us in that, in that line of sight to be able to do that. Great stuff. Thanks very much, Joe. Good luck against Dave Gilbert. We're looking forward to Thank that you. one. Cheers. Cheers.